happening. You just get evaluated. Like, oh, yes, that's it. That's crazy. But now, watch this. You took the course, like, four months, five months. Now you, what would have taken you about 10 years, you did in what, four months? Yeah, so it's, it's a... It's Is this a awesome. segment scheme or what? <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing is, the, dif the difference is um, those, those, those get rich schemes try to paint it like it is, it is just a simple process. Mm -mm. You don't have to do the work. Mm -mm. Um, but this one, you, you definitely do have to do the work. You definitely do have to study. It's all about you doing the homework. It's just sure. like, that's just it. For sure. there's, no, there's no easy blueprint. You just got to do the work and that's it. Yeah, and um, what, what I really like about you is, uh, what I'm really proud about you is that I never saw you. I was never there to micromanage. I was never there to stand over your shoulder, blah, blah, blah. But you just, you logged in every week, you did the work, and you were faithful with those projects, and there you go. Just sir, leave, yes, sir. Leave, leave now. Huh? Leave, 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 <laughs> now. Huh? leave, leave I was, now. I was getting so sad, depressed, old oh, man. I know, that's why I was texting you. Like, I kept texting you, I was like, yeah, I know, I know. Every time, every time you go to an interview uh, and they tell you no, oh it's man, tough. it's, it's tough. depressing. But we know why that happened. We know why that happened. And I always tell my students in class, like, man, Indians, man, for whatever reason, man, like, and it's not just you saying this. It's like, it's 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 a known fact. Like, if you go on an interview and the Indian um, Indians are interviewing you, tens of you getting that job is like, you know. It's just, yeah, um, it's, and they, they've the saturated New Jersey, New York, PA. They've saturated those three states, and um, you can't do anything without coming across them. And yeah. they're, they're awesome people. Don't get me wrong. I love them. Yeah. I have, I have a lot of them as friends. But um, they look out for their own. That's all. Yes. They yes. look out for their own. That's all it is. It's not personal. It's just look. We're a whole bunch of Indians, and we're going to monopolize this company. It's just the way it is. I walk into many companies, and that's what we see everywhere, everywhere. That's um, I don't want to mention names, but um, I went to one um, just a few, few, few weeks ago. Um, Jersey City, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a mega financial investment company. Mm -hmm. And in that specific department, all Indians, all of them. And they, all they, Indians. They, they paint it on, on the website that we are a, we're a diverse um, opportunity company. How can you be diverse opportunity and just walking into the door is like Indians everywhere. Like, is this an Indian company? <laughs> it's crazy, you know? So, and the company is owned by Americans. It's not even an Indian owned company. So that's what, what makes me shocked by that. And the thing about it is, is, um, us minorities black and we're not we're not hip to this it thing i don't know why you know we're not really hip to this it as far as like um like from the dba well, you see a lot of business analysts and so on and so forth but as far as let's say core dbas or data analysts or like developers black people are just not into it like we're just not really i haven't seen like the level of of um saturation has, has come even close to let's say an indian you know, like the Indians are, Indians are like hard, like that's what they do, you know. But as far as minorities, us, it's not really much of us like in there. So it's like, um, like if you're going to that, whatever company you're going to, like, but it's, it's probably a good thing that you didn't go, you didn't get one of those jobs because, bro, it would have been rough. <laughs> um, I'm, my, my next five year plan includes oh. one of those jobs anyway. So. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be battling with them, whether they like it or not. Right. Um, but I do still like this present role. I'm very grateful to God. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do my best. Um, I'm going to definitely be showing my worth. Every employee must show their worth, right. especially for the money they are being paid. Right. So I'm going to be showing my worth. And I know that they are ready to have me in that company and we'll nice. see, we'll make it work. Nice. Um, but for the next five-year plan, everybody should have a five-year plan. So um, the next five-year plan, definitely six figures is in there. And I'm going to get those six figures is using the, the, the skills I've acquired already. Six figures? Yeah, six figures five. is in my... Hello? Five years? 
<laughs> so you want to be seven figures? <laughs> Wait, you said five years, six figures? <laughs> Bro, by this time next year, you should be making 200K, dude. Yeah, I'm not saying like at the end of the five years. I'm saying within the five years. Okay, what I'm saying. okay. And by yeah. this, okay, let me let me make it simple for you. In the next, by <laughs> this time, in the next twelve months, you should be making, you should be doing two jobs, and you should be making over two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Doesn't stop now, dude. I'm telling you, you can get a remote job. You can do all these things, right? You can you can work a remote night job. Don't listen. We both so read the Bible. The Bible says, this. "What does the Bible say about work? What What is the Bible's philosophy about work? Tell me. Be diligent. Like no, be diligent. no, 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 no. Yeah, do. No. Be specific. What exactly does it say about work? The philosophy of the Bible when it comes to work. Let me tell I, you. you said when you go to work in the, in the daytime, and then what does it tell you to do in the nighttime? Rest. No. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Like you have to prepare. You have to no. do. You have to use. Um, no. After work to plan. Mm -hmm. Plan ahead. No. He no. Says, in the daytime, you work. And when you get a home, don't be idle. Work again. Yeah. Plan <laughs> ahead for your future. Yeah. No, no. It means do two jobs. Okay. Let me give you another. All <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> let me give you another philosophy. Another philosophy. Another philosophy. It, it says is this, right? It says, um, what does it say? It says, um, I lost my train of thought. Damn. It's about to get to. Oh, it says, Get into two businesses, which means basically get two streams of incomes at least. Because one could work or the other, or both of them alike. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So it's yeah. a good stepping stone, right? You start with one job. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that, right? But get another job. Don't get lazy. Don't get lazy. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not going to get lazy. The thing is, I have some entrepreneurship movements that I want to work on as yeah. well. Uh, so, um, like, I'm, I'm an entrepreneurship guy. Nice. So, um, and I would like to in incorporate technology into that as well. So, and this is all within my five-year plan. Nice. So, that's why maybe getting a second job might not be my immediate move um, because that entrepreneurship thing is, uh, is kind of on my heart. Hola, <laughs> so you better go get a second job. Get <laughs> Because you need the funds, right? Whatever business you're trying to do, get you need the funds, true, right? True, true, true. Get stack, stack the money, right? Stack it. You know that's my that's my vision for you because I can I can tell that you I can tell just from the look of you that you have a bright future, right? So no, oh, thank you. You know, don't just don't just be be relying on that one job. Eighty k is fine. It's fine. It's a really good, really really good solid base. But what I want you to do is do get another one. Get another one because you still have the youth, you have energy. And remember, the reason why I'm telling you that you should get another job is, dude, time waits for no man. It's sure. not anybody. Like, 80K is like the base. But, bro, if you can make 200K, all this entrepreneurship that you're talking about, now you really have a good, solid base. Mm. Really good. I know, I know a guy that's doing four jobs. Four jobs. 170K a piece. Mm. All from home. It's making like six eighty k. Wow. You know, so I mean, <laughs> he's getting it. You know, so I mean, he's doing cool. You know, but the point is, stop there. You know, settle down, my job. Now you can really settle down. You can take the girlfriend to go get some lobster, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, some no jumbo rice and all that good stuff. So, what part of Jersey uh, do you live? Um, I, right now I stay in Newark, New Jersey, and I also stay in PA as well. In PA? Yes. The actual position is in PA, Philadelphia, PA, oh, but not Philadelphia, close to there. Um, so how would you be, how, how is the community? Are you in, are you closest to New York or are you like mid? Um, um since I stay in both New Jersey and PA, um, I'm, I'm, um, my, the location from my work to my location in PA is only like 40 minutes drive. Oh, really? Nice. Yes. Nice. Oh, so you have a place in both Jersey and, and, and Philly? Yes. The Jersey place is a family place. Nice. The, PA, the Philly place is a personal place. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Bro, I'm really proud of you, man. Like, it seems like everything just kind of fell in perfect Thank God. Thank everything God. just just fell in, in perfectly you know what i mean like sometimes you know like for me um 
I consider myself like super lucky because you know my first try I got a job. Mm. My wow. first try I got a job many years ago, and I 